Hey, it's Miklas here. And if you're anything like me, you either keep forgetting to water your plants, or you have no idea how much to water them. That's why, as a group project for a class I took, I decided to make a smart flower pot. The design was made by two wonderful art students, and it was really fun to brainstorm with them our technical point of view with their aesthetic one. After choosing the final design, I jumped into Fusion 360 and made all the models for the print. The top part is just a normal flower pot, however I didn't get a chance to print it in time for the deadline. The bottom stand has three slots for rare earth magnets, which will later hold the electronics bay. It also has a hole for a USB power cable and for a humidity sensor cable. The electronics bay will hold a LED strip on the outside and keep all the electronics on the inside. For the electronics I bought one meter of individually addressable LED strip and Arduino Nano for controlling the flower pot and a soil humidity sensor for that input. The first time I tried to print the stand I just could not get it off the build plate. PTG just stick too well. So the second time I added a few layers of raft, which helped a lot. Needless to say it still wasn't easy to remove the print from the build plate. I sticked both boards to the bay with double-sided adhesive tape, fed the LED strip wires through their designated holes, and then I sticked the LED strip to the outer shell of the electronics bay. After that, it was time to glue the rare earth magnets in place. Thanks to the Arduino Nano's micro USB port, you can power it with pretty much any USB charger or even a power bank. The code I wrote is pretty much just a linear interpolation of red and green color based on the reading from the cell humidity sensor. The color changes in real time, so you can check the code by slowly lifting the soil humidity sensor from the ground. As always, you'll find all models, links and code in the video description. See you next time!